It started with the opening. When we had our grand opening, all of our tips went to a local friend here who was ha having a big fight with cancer. And so we kind of wanted to do that kind of a thing again. And has continued into a tradition. We said, you know, that was a really great thing, and we're going to have these big events, you know, a couple times a year. We're hoping that the Oktoberfest becomes a, a yearly thing. Those here at Spilled Grain Brewhouse are always looking for new ways to help the community that they call home. We're hoping to do a Bach Fest in March, February, March, and then with Annandale, the, uh, the July 4th holiday is a big um, kind of our town festival, so we'll probably do a large kind of parking lot party for that as well. So we're hoping those three events, we can partner with different charities every year to, to donate our cash chips and, and continue to give back to the community in that way. So it's, it's a nice, big, happy kind of community family. We want to give back to that as much as we can because we wouldn't be here not only without that, but without the local Annandale community as well. And by giving back, they help those from all walks of life. Every penny that we get from people goes directly to purchase food or cover some of our small overhead. So things like this mean a great deal to putting food on the tables of the people who need it right here in our community. Also in the brewing world, it was kind of the big news of the week um, that InBev had basically was going to buy out SAB Miller. And uh, from what I understand is it's not going to be the whole business, it's not going to be all of SAB Miller, that the U.S. regulators aren't going to allow them to keep the Coors, the Miller Coors unit, and that will probably either be spun off as a completely separate company or sold to a competitor. Some local craft brewers are also worried about their potential distribution rights. Us little guys, a lot of the smaller breweries who have distributor deals can kind of get pushed out because they, the distributor has to meet certain quotas uh, for the big guys. <laughs> Nick Peterson, UTVS News.